If the old saying, defense wins championships, is any indication, then the Navasota Lady Rattlers could be well on their way to capturing the Class 4A state basketball title. Defensively, we, we've always been really good here, and uh, this year we're probably the best team we've ever had defensively. We're just old school, um, half court straight, man to man. Um, you know, that's something that I've grown up with in, in my uh, entire career, actually my whole life. And, uh, and got that from the old Hank Iba days. Uh, he coached my dad at Oklahoma State uh, back in the 40s, and, and then his roommate was Eddie Sutton, and they're both known for, for uh, uh, being half-court, man-to-man guys. So that's kind of what we've done and been able to do here. The Lady Rattlers finished the regular season a perfect 36-0, and and they're through the first two rounds of the playoffs, thanks in large part to their defense, which gives up only 26 points a game. Coach Gates, you know, he just stays on us. Like he always tells us, like if we're gonna play for him, we're gonna play defense. So defense is something that we just, you just do it. Like you might have a bad offensive night, but as long as you're playing defense and keeping the other team from scoring, then that just makes up for what you lack on offense. We just, we have to talk, help, help defense. Stepping over, not stepping up. Um, call out picks, just communication and moving your feet. Don't get beat. I mean, be real. Last year, Navasota's season came to an end in the regional semifinals, leaving a sour taste in everyone's mouth. When we walked out of that dressing room at Sam Houston State in the regional semifinals, um, I walked out of there and there were there were 10 players that were coming back on this year's team. And they were very disappointed, they were crying. And I think they used that game, uh, that experience, uh, kind of as fuel for their fire this year. And there's no doubt, they came, they worked hard all summer long. They worked hard in the fall. Uh, almost all my kids are multi-sport kids. So even the ones playing volleyball, when they get done with volleyball practice, they stayed in the gym working on their basketball game. So yeah, I think they used last year kind of as fuel for the fire. Coach Gates says this Lady Rattlers team is the most unselfish one he's coached at Navasota, and that could be the key to their success. Um, it feels great because like I never like did good with these with these teammates. They're really like my sisters, and I play like they they motivate me for me like to play hard in every game. You know we know how to pass the ball because we have like you know different people can do different things. So you know we try to we share the ball. We want everybody to accomplish something. You know we set goals for each and every one of us, and we somewhat accomplish them towards the end of the game. I think it's because most of the team, we've been, we went pretty far last year, and last year we only lost one person, so we have a lot of experience on our team, and a lot of us have been playing together since we were young, so I mean, I think the chemistry is just there. Like, we just kind of just gel together really well. These Lady Rattlers know they'll continue to have a target on their backs as the undefeated favorite, but they welcome the challenge every time they step on the court. Congratulations to the Navasota Lady Rattler basketball team for being this week's Chevy Spotlight.